Hello, today I'm going to be talking about housing basics, quick release buckles and mounts that come with GoPros in this, the third part in our series about action cameras. Adorama TV presents Capture the Action with Martin Dory. Hello, I'm Martin Dory and this is Adorama TV. Today we're going to be looking at basic GoPro mounts and buckles and demonstrating them with this Hero 3 Plus Black Edition GoPro camera. When I was a film student, nothing like the GoPro existed. Cameras were huge, they used 16mm film, and if you wanted to put them on anything, you had to make the mounts yourself. And in fact, I spent the last few months of my college um, in the final year building a special mount to go on a bike. Now, what's amazing with GoPros is that now you can go online at Adorama, you can buy one of these, a bike mount, and put it anywhere on your bike. It's incredible, and we'll look at this later on. But first, let's look at some of the housing that comes as standard with your camera. So the first housing we're going to look at is your standard housing. It's waterproof to 40 meters, and it will protect your camera against mud, dirt, water, anything. Really useful. To get the camera out, to open it up, it's quite easy. Grab the clip at the front, open the back, and pop the camera out. Now, one thing to remember when you do close it up, put the camera back in, is that the seal here is all important. And if you are going in the water, run your finger around it, make sure there's no grit or dirt on that seal or hairs or anything like that to stop that from being a good seal. Close the door up, close the seal. Now, the one thing about these housings is that they are completely enclosed, so the sound isn't always great because there's a barrier to the sound getting to the microphone. The solution to this is to use a skeleton back door, which is this. It's got holes in it and it'll let the sound travel through to the microphone. To remove the back door, pull it off, clip the new one in place, pop the camera back in, and away you go. Another option is to use a skeleton housing. Now this is the same, use the same skeleton back, but it also has holes in the sides. Now that will allow you access to the HDMI and to the USB ports and you can plug a microphone in there and also will allow the sound to travel better to the microphone. Again, it's not waterproof, it's not dustproof and it's not dirtproof. So if there's any danger of getting any dirt or water on this, don't use this housing. Hi, Martin Dory here. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest competition to win some amazing prizes. Next mounting your camera. Now your camera will come with two mounts and two quick release buckles. The mounts are, one is a curved mount, one is a flat mount. It's quite self-explanatory, your curved mount will be used for mounting onto things like this helmet. You can see it's a curved surface so you'll get a better adhesion onto that. Now the buckles, is a standard buckle, and a vertical buckle. The vertical buckle is exactly how it sounds, it's for mounting your camera on a vertical surface, like this helmet. So what you do is you slide the buckle into the mount until it clicks and you're there. Now, to mount the camera on there, place your GoPro on the top, using a thumb screw, screw it into place like that. Now it's this rig that I used when I went to surf the Seven Boar in the UK and uh, I got some fantastic shots. The other great thing about this rig is that you can use it to take a selfie just by moving the camera down. And this is exactly the same way I had it when I went on Europe's longest zip wire in North Wales this summer. And I think you'll agree the footage is fantastic. Three, two, one.
Okay, so with time to have a little bit of fun, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to mount your GoPro camera using a standard quick release buckle, a flat mount on the skateboard and we get some fantastic angles. First of all, I need to see what the shot's gonna be. So I'm gonna switch on the Wi-Fi. See the blue button flashing. I'm gonna pair it up with my iPhone. And then switch the camera on using the app, which will then give me a preview. I'm going to slide the camera into the mount until it clicks. Now, I'm going to stick the camera underneath somewhere here, and I can see from the preview what kind of a frame I'm getting. So I want it to be somewhere behind the wheels like that. Give me something really interesting to look at. Now the thing about this here is that this shot, you can see it's upside down. So what I can do with a very clever little part of the software here is I can flick that, the upside down button, and it will turn it the right way up. So I can now see my picture the right way up. And I think I'm gonna mount it round about there. So, next thing to do, is to peel off the back of my mount. Get that somewhere safe. And place the mount on the skateboard there, like so. Isn't that fantastic? And we are now absolutely ready to go with a wonderful angle. Hit record and away we go. Okay, so the final mount Remember this from earlier, it's the bike mount. It's fantastic. You can mount it here, 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 pretty much anywhere on a bike to give you some really, really interesting angles. And I'm gonna do it to give myself a little bike selfie. Here we go. Okay, that's it for now. Next time, we're gonna be looking at setting frame rates and resolutions in the studio. And after that, we're gonna be strapping this little thing to anything and everything we can find. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget you can get more tips and tricks in the Learning Center. Click on the link below. And also don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.